All right. So I took my car to BMW dealership. I'm not going to say where, and I don't know. Tell me what you guys think, what I should do, or how I should be. Because I took my car to the dealership to get my AC fixed, and I knew it was just free on gas recharge. <clears throat> but while they're doing that, they do the whole inspection out of courtesy. And I think it took about two days. I took the loaner and they called me up and they said, here's the list of things that we went over and everything's okay except for coolant reservoir tank. And they showed me a video of the coolant reservoir tank literally leaking everywhere. I'm gonna do another check here. Um, Notice, you got a coolant leak right there. Active coolant leak. See that? Looks like it's coming from the expansion tank. So, um, highly, highly would recommend replacing the suspension tank. You see it right there. You're running down. shocked because my car was fine I was driving everywhere I was doing long distance no coolant leaks I always check underneath my car and I thought okay maybe something went wrong so I was kind of mentally preparing myself to do this job so I declined the job I went to pick my car up and yep so I just opened my coolant expansion tank coolant level is good so I'm going to Tighten it up again because I know it shouldn't leak and when I opened it up for the first time This cap was loose. That's why it was leaking and I could see from the video all the coolant was leaking from the top So this had to be it Right because like in the video I was able to see coolant seeping from this corner And that corner he was just showing me the bottom in the video but Yeah, let me close this real quick tight and then see what happens because I know it shouldn't leak. So far so good. Not even a single drop coming out like it was showing in the video yesterday. In the inspection video. Because if it was gushing like that. It would have been a bigger problem. But not even a single drop on the coolant side. I think that's just water. But no coolant. And they were trying to charge me 500 bucks to fix the whole thing to swap out the expansion tank. So if you were in my situation, how would you feel? How would you react? And I even texted the service manager and he didn't respond to whatever I was talking about. I said, hey, are you sure the technician did a thorough job of inspecting my car? Because when I opened my hood, the cap was loose and isn't it isn't that his job to check everything thoroughly? So yeah, let me know. Let me know what you guys think and how I should react. Should I leave a Google comment? Bad review, good review. I don't know how I feel about this. Because if you were in my situation and you didn't know cars at all, you would have had to pay 500 bucks out of your pocket. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And just to confirm, this is day three. I have been driving to work back and forth. And the coolant light has never come up. And I've always checked underneath my car. Not a single drop of coolant. So I'm thinking, did they actually try to scam me? Or was it an honest mistake? Because if anything were to leak, I think the first thing I would have checked was the cap. And the fact that it was kind of loose. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm just glad that I didn't have to replace my expansion tank and everything's okay. AC is blowing cold, cold. So overall, everything is good for the car, but it's just a sticky situation. So leave a comment below what you guys think. I'll see you guys next time.